take it when I'm grown If happiness will lose me after all my years I'll play beginning letters just to wipe my tears It's 7.50 right now, finished up trying to get the sunrise. I'm not sure how good it is because there's so much clouds in there. But I'm on my way back right now. I'm probably gonna eat real quick, cook breakfast, eat, and then wake Courtney up so we can go to the gym. Lamborghini letter just to wipe my tears. Sip on 46 McCollin just to drown my fears. I don't run away from problems, I just bore my lip. All I ever wanted was to be a billionaire. If I get no Bet my money don't got quite a little flow. They like whoa, black of in it though. Take off here I go. Good morning guys. It is Monday, March 21st, 9.05 in the morning. Mondays are my client check-in days, so I usually when I'm eating and when I'm cooking, I'll hop on my email and respond to some clients and then also other business emails. I usually wake up between 7.30 and 8.30 every morning. Lately it's been on the earlier side just because I have so much going on each day. I'm fairly busy so I usually wake up earlier. Today we actually have to take Courtney to the airport at 12 o'clock because she has a job in LA. So we're probably gonna head to the gym afterwards and then we'll take the day on from there. Check out the usual. I forgot this window doesn't work. It's about 10:45 in the morning. Let's see what Miami South Beach is up to today. Just pop the camera out real quick. It's crazy how empty the streets are in the morning time because everyone's like hammered from the night before and they don't get up till like 2, 2 in the afternoon. I'm about to head down to the agency. Everything's cooked. I showered, but I did have one thing I want to cover and that was a question someone had in the comment section in my last video, I believe, and that was what fragrances I use. I thought that was a very interesting question, so I'm going to bring that up right now and show you guys. So I brought three right here. This is like my everyday clone. It's not the best smelling clone. I mean, it smells good, but it's not my favorite. Uh, fairly cheap. I think this was like 60 bucks. It's Prada. So I use this just going out, walking around, going to the gym. And then these two are the main ones right here for like special occasions, for like castings or if I'm going to dinner or something like that. Austin actually gave me this one. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'll link the... Actually, I'll put it up right now for you guys. And then this is my favorite one right here. Probably my best smelling clone that I've ever had before. This is super expensive. I think for a size like this, it runs up to $200 to $240. This clone right here. It's by La Labo. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. It's L-E-L-A-B-O. The specific clone that I have is Santel 33. I highly recommend this, guys. And I'll put the link in the description for you guys if you guys wanted to check that out. And I think they do samples as well. So you guys can get like... A sample pack, it's fairly cheap, like $40, you get like six different samples. But I wanted to bring that up, it's really kind of random, but I did want to uh, talk about it because I thought it was an interesting question and some of you guys might be interested in that. So I'm about to head down to the agency right now, hopefully they have my package, crossing my fingers. I'm really hoping they have my package because they actually said it was delivered on Saturday, but it doesn't make any sense because that uh, building's closed on the weekends. So I hope they didn't mess it up, I'm really hoping they have it, so I'm going to go check right now. See if this elevator is working today. It was working yesterday, so I have a feeling it's gonna be working. Although a lot of you guys are telling me to take the stairs, so I should actually, I'm gonna take the stairs. You guys are keeping me motivated on my cut to do some more cardio, so let's take the stairs regardless. said they don't take packages on weekends. The tracking number said it was delivered, so now I'm getting really worried. So I'm heading up to my agency right now, hoping they might have it. I'll let you guys know. So I guess USPS did deliver to the building on weekends. They have a slider key, so they get it on the weekends, and it was actually in the mailbox for my agency. What's inside here, I can't tell you guys quite yet, but it is going to be huge news. It's gonna be the start of something very exciting, and I can't wait to be able to share it with you guys in a couple months. So, that being said, I'm gonna stop rolling right here, open it up, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. She's headed out to the airport. And she hasn't even had a snack yet. She's gonna lose all those gains. All right. Planned ahead, and I'm. <laughs> I planned ahead, and I made a rice cake and peanut butter. Yeah. 
Look at those fresh bird poops. Well, a couple nice ones over here too. It smells like pepperoni pizza in here. It's lavender. On our way to the airport now. 11.52, she wanted to get there at 12. <laughs> it's definitely not an eight minute drive, so it'll be a bit late. Whoa. can see it that's the boat that I shot with JLo on for my music video like two years ago it is 1235 right now we are probably about five minutes away we are in South Beach um, turning right now so I'm gonna get home in about five minutes I have to find parking eat maybe take a nap we'll see how I feel and then go to the gym for the chest workout here I'm feeling really good today just a good day overall so it's just positive day today guys I hope you guys are enjoying your week so far as well I know you guys are watching this on Thursday I'm about to post on Instagram right now uh, I took a picture in the car on the way to the airport actually and I haven't posted in a few days so I thought why not just take the snapchat and post it on my Instagram you know right here is meal number two the oatmeal that's gonna go with it I'm gonna eat this right now Pre-workout is mixed, but it hasn't, I haven't, if you guys know that you're more, you have to push it down and then, actually I'll just do it right now. Like that. So this is my pre-workout right here. Like I said, I might take a nap, I might not, and then, actually, some of you guys asking me what my supplementation is right now. I went over this a few times already, but I'm going to go through it really, really quickly. Creatine right here, 5 grams. Right now, I'm currently taking... Dimatize Elite 100% Whey Protein Cake Batter Flavor. Uh, I like the chocolate one a little bit better to be honest, but this cake batter tastes fine as well. And then of course, you guys know, the Waxy Maze for more uh, carbs in my post-workout shake. Now when I bulk, I was, gonna, gonna, I was gonna talk about this, I don't know if I'll still be using it or if I'll just get more carbs through Whole Foods like cereal or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but I'll definitely talk about that later in later videos. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna eat, mix this protein shake up, Take a nap, head to the gym. Two hours later. You know it's a good sunset when the building's reflecting pink. Finished up with the gym. It was a really, really good workout. I didn't get anything on film. Sorry about that, guys. I did actually very, very high volume. I think I did 18 sets in total of just pressing movement, and then I finished up the workout with some isolation work with some machine flies, cable flies, and then a burnout of push-ups, as many reps as possible. Suggestion for you guys, if you guys are trying to build up your chest, every single time you guys hit chest, whether that's one, two, or three times a week, do a, for the last set you guys do, do a push-ups for as many reps as possible every single time, and every single time you hit a chest workout, try to beat your last record. Now I am actually waiting for this salmon to thaw out. This was a salmon you guys saw in a couple videos ago. I actually froze it and I'm waiting for it to thaw out right now because I'm actually going to be having salmon with some yam fries, which I'll show you guys when I'm cooking it in a little bit. And then I'm actually editing the video, working on some client plans. I have two plans to do tonight, so I'll get those done. And then the rest of the night, I think I'm going to be probably watching The Walking Dead, which I'm very excited about. And that'll probably wrap up the night. Step one, spray pans. Step two, weigh out the meat or fish. Almost forgot. Step zero, start the oven and put it at a random temperature that you think will cook the meat. Season well. Cut, weigh, and season the fries. So what I have going on here, I got the salmon. I did about 200 grams, and then I got the yam fries cooking up here. 250 grams is what I've been doing lately. And then I'm about to pick out some veggies. It's most likely going to be some broccoli and then possibly a bit of asparagus, which is right there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get into right now. I think I'm just going to do broccoli to make it easier on myself. Gotta dress up for the club. It's about 9.30 at night right now. Dinner is served. I got the 200 grams of salmon, 250 grams of yams, and about 150 grams of broccoli. I'm going to be topping this meal with a little bit, I mean a little bit of this balsamic vinaigrette. Probably just on the salmon. I'm going to eat this up, guys. Shower, and then I'm probably going to start watching The Walking Dead. 
10.17 at night guys, I am watching The Walking Dead right now. Finished up everything I needed to do for the night, so I'm gonna have a relaxing night. Finish watching this, cook my last meal once this is over, and I'm eating apple slices right now. That's gonna wrap up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. I did enjoy taking you guys along my day, I hope you guys did too. If you didn't like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.